Everybody doing? Everybody good? How was your week? Everybody had a good week? I had a good week too. It was cool. Um, anyway, welcome to the library. Um, Dreamy Life Records is a beautiful night. Beautiful thing we do here every Friday. A different band plays every Friday night so you have a chance to, to really broaden your musical horizons and open your mind to infinite possibilities. As you look into my eyes, you will see the future. The future. The future. The future. Hold on. Ah, oh, this is sad. I'm sorry. The future! There it is. Okay, so, uh, anywho. In other news, um, yeah, Dreamy Life Records going strong here. Uh, got Just got voted fourth weekly uh, best of Critics' Choice. Woo! Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, we've been at a lot of really good record stores, and you know, we're, you know how quaint and small we are, and DIY this all is. It's real fun uh, to be part of it. Uh, you can always support local music just by going to shows. I always encourage every show that you just go out to something you never heard of and and uh, pay to get in and just sit there and listen because it means a lot to musicians like myself who you know may normally play in front of nobody and so to have anybody listen is a really cool thing. So that's the easiest thing you can do to support. Um, if you're you know not like me and you have money, you could probably um, put some money back here in this jar. That always helps. Uh, you know, the bands, I mean, everybody's kind of struggling, and uh, you know, we're all just trying to make our way in this world and express ourselves, and that's a beautiful thing. Uh, these two dudes tonight are avid um, happy hour guys, and you know, you come here enough and you hang out enough, we're going to give you a show. So, uh, tonight's their show, I'm just playing, no, they deserve it, it's their first show that they've ever played, played, I know, right? Um, it's really cool because... You can say, I was there when they did it. You know, that's all. I was there when they first did it. And then there's like, oh yeah, well, I don't even like them anymore because they got big. But I was there when they first did it. You know, there's always that one person. <laughs> <laughs> like, they oh, it's cool now? Out. I'm over it. That was so last year. Like, oh, but they were playing in front of nobody. I know, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> they used to stay at my house and now they don't answer my Instagrams. Uh, so... Speaking of Instagram, we did a really special one tonight. I'd like to give a shout out to my, my boy back here, the Skeleton Man. Uh, we call him uh, Baby B. We call him Mini Burns. We call him MB Tron 2000. We call him, what else do we call you? Kramer. Uh, yeah, Mini Kramer. <laughs> Baby Crames. Cosmo Brady. Cosmo, yes. Yeah. Cosmo. Anyway, um, I'd like to give a shout out to him for some excellent uh, video skills. If you haven't seen our videos, please follow us on Dreamy Life Records, uh, Instagram. Um, what else? YouTube. On the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, we have a YouTube channel now. Uh, some of you might be stars already on there as passerbys in the video. It's kind of cool as, you know, as we progress, more and more people show up. And, you know, look, I mean, there's always, there are already some unfamiliar faces here, which is great. Thank you for being here. By the way, my name is Peter Gilliland. I'm the general manager of Avoca Coffee on the Magnolia location over here. I've been there about four and a half years almost. And um, yeah, this is my volunteer, my volunteering and giving back to the local community. I don't know if you noticed, but I just switched over to um, the orange one because it <laughs> because it's <laughs> Halloween, kitties. <laughs> Ooh, I see a lot of you are dressed up. Ooh, are you a ACDC fan? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I kind of sound like this. If you think about it, the, the ACDC guy sounds like the Crypt Keeper. He's like, I'm back in black, baby. You know, like, I don't know. You gotta wonder, like, does that dude just like go home and just like ice his throat? I mean, what do you really do to get over being ACDC? And you know, like, I don't know if you guys recently noticed this, but they tried to like put in Axl Rose, like thinking that we wouldn't notice. Like, oh, we noticed. Not the same, dude. <laughs> Not the same cannot try to be the guy from ACDC. And if you are, you know, God bless you with that throat. I mean, I just let you know. It's like you, Marlboro Man, and, you know, like, uh, I don't know, Chewbacca, maybe, who would, like, have bad throat problems. This is brought to you by Dr. Leo Harbowitz. Ears, nose, and throat. He is one of our sponsors, by the way, so we gotta you know, send that out there. I totally made up that guy. He's not real. 
Um, so, do you do y'all like to uh, party at all? Anybody here like to party? There's different there's different versions of party. My version is smiling in the communal fun um, event. That's kind of that's my version of party. But as you know, there's half the people that are here are on the back. So I'm gonna go kick them in the butt, and then we're gonna try to get going here. Uh, does anybody like have anything they'd like to add? Any cool Halloween parties? Oh, Suzanne made some um, some delicious superfood popcorn. Please have some. It's got spirulina, which is kind of like a serving of green veggies. She, she borrowed it from my RV and hasn't given it back yet. But she puts it on some salads and stuff for me, so that's pretty cool. She's a rad chick. Anyway, um, looks like there's a, you're in for a really special show. We have some fog machines, which is pretty cool. They have their own fog machine going back there, if you know what I mean. Uh, brought to you by Drug Free America. Hey, uh, Vern. Oh, damn it. All right, uh, please talk amongst yourselves. We'll be back right back after these short messages. Oh, by the way, um, please watch out for ghouls and ghosts, okay? I heard there's, they're going out there in the streets, and they're getting crazy. Hope, how are we looking out there? Is everybody looking good? You all, you all have, you're excited? Are they coming? Okay, I told them 720, so um, we're going to, you know, just do this little, this little thing real quick. Um, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Wolfman, are you still back there? Uh, okay, he is back here. He was actually in a better mood earlier. It's kind of temperamental. <laughs> Mr. Wolfman, do you want to come out and say hey, or you wait for the new moon? Or <laughs> okay, I'm going to be back here trying to do the show. I don't want to see you when you morph back because, homeboy, I saw it last time and you really need to shave, okay? It's getting a little hairy, okay? Speaking of getting hairy, here comes one of the musicians. He's a real sweet guy. I, I say that because he just got a haircut. Look at his ears. They got a little lowered. I heard that's a really great guy downtown that does that operation. $35.99. Ears lowered. Boop, boop, boop. He could actually give you somebody else's ears, like, you know, discounted if you wanted some different ears. I looked into the Vulcan package. It's like the most expensive one. It's like $1,200. And I'm just like, dude, it's not worth it to look like a Vulcan. As much as I would love to, you kind of have to be purebred. You can't just become a Vulcan. You have to, like be raised into that. Much like Chandler here. He was kind of raised in the Vulcan um, child upbringing technique. Um, I don't know if you guys know that, but it, re it requires a lot of corporal punishment. So anyway, <laughs> anyway, if you guys like uh, corporal punishment, please stick around for the music. I'm just kidding. No, uh, that, was, that, was, <laughs> that was funny. I like to party. I'm just playing, guys. I'm just having a fun time. No, recently I got evicted, but um, I'm trying to just, you know, trudge along and do this comedy thing. Uh, it's really fun. Uh, not, you know, the universe will provide and, and open up doors as it should. And it will open up doors for you if you call my 1-800 number and dial yourself into a new realm of thinking. Okay, we're back. After the, that was a short message from one of our sponsors. Um, I think it was some kind of like life kick thing. I don't know, some church. Anyway, <laughs> I was just kidding. I said the C word. Woo! Hey, welcome back in. Okay, guys, I think everybody's starting to find a funnel in here. The Irie vibes are here. We're feeling good. Have you ever been to the neighborhood and felt so good at a library? I've been in good. I just wanna hang out with you at the library. Through me life, happy hour. It's so cool. You're gonna shake that camera and take me to school, baby. Through me life, happy hour. Thank you so much. I'm not really feeling it tonight. I don't know if you can tell, but um, I probably can't. I uh, yeah, you know. We're just making the best of every day here in this neighborhood, and, and we're all really supportive of each other. And, and if you're not, you know, um, you tend to find your find your way towards the door. And um, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think that you know, there's gonna always gonna be critics, but we're always gonna support each other. Uh, the the good people will find each other, and, and that's really what's happened here at Dream Life Records. And I think that um, being part of it is really great. Um, every Friday we have this to look forward to. Rain or shine, no matter how your life's going, we're doing Dream Life Happy Hour. It is a steam steam locomotive. Steam locomotive running down the tracks. <laughs> He's gone, gone. Nothing's gonna bring him back. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was, that was a little uh, Chuck Berry for you. <laughs> Let it rock. Check that song out. It's really great. Uh, anyway, so we're in for a treat tonight. 
Uh, so y'all were probably outside. I was saying, this is one of those nights where you can say, I was there, dude. <laughs> First show, I was there. Next year, these guys are gonna be huge. Everybody's gonna love them. You're gonna be like, whatever. Yeah, I saw them when they first came out, but you know, they got big now. So anyway, I hope that's what happens to you guys. I hope y'all all the success and love in the world. Um, Dreamy Life regulars, um, now Dreamy Life performers. I wish we had some kind of cool wall where people put their hands in concrete or, you know, some kind of like thing where yeah, everybody, oh, I did the Dream Life happy hour. I dipped my face in the cement. Yeah, do it, I guess. Yeah, maybe make some paper mache faces of everybody. Like, I'm gonna need you to lay here for 30 minutes while we paper mache your face, okay? <laughs> it's something everybody does, okay? We're gonna make, end up making a mold and then we're gonna take it to the Palace of Wax and we're gonna make a right life sculpture of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ordered mine, still waiting on it. I think it melted in the mail. Okay, so uh, if you guys have anything else you'd like to add, just don't be afraid to come up to me after the show and we'll put it into the next performance. Um, if you'd like to shout out to somebody or you know, maybe um, word to your mom, you can do that. Check out our YouTube channel. Everybody on the YouTube channel, hey, how's it going? Go ahead and comment at the bottom. It's really fun to do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I always hear other people say that, but now I can kind of say it. And if you call now, the first two callers will receive a free blessing from the Charmy Lumu. I'm sorry, that was funny. That That's actually an uh, idol that I heard about um, in this book. Okay, so, <laughs> speaking of books, you can check out books here at the Fairmont Community Library. Beautiful people go into volunteering there, as well as Dreamy Life Records. we got a great show tomorrow night. Bitch Briggs is going to be with uh, Moody the Band at Republic Street Bar, as well as, there's one more, The Kush? Yeah, Kush, right? Oh. Treehouse Cabaret tomorrow. Sorry, yeah. The Entry House Cabaret, great show, a great lineup. I hope to see you there. And we'll see you in the new realm. That's right. Once you transform, you will become the Phoenix. <laughs> okay, thank you. So, uh, cheers to Cameron Smith here, one of the main main dudes of Dream Life Records and War Party. It's her dude. Get a Sorry. Is that right? Yes. Okay, that was a great ride up, by the way. You look really handsome. <laughs> um, I'm really just pumped. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. You're not ready. I'm ready. Oh. Oh yes, uh, Suzanne would like to make an announcement. Just a quick, quick housekeeping announcement. Let's go easy on the bathroom, guys. Last week it broke and it was a to-do, and then we had to go out to the uh, to the alley. So we send people to the alley. If you want to use the bathroom, great. Just don't clog it up with toilet paper and stuff, because a lot of people are trying to use stall in one night. Peace, love, and bless. Thank you, Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you. It really was. It leaked. It was this big thing. I mean, and all these people were like in line as it happened, and we had to tell them no. So. Um, guys, go ahead and get your get your booties ready. Then we got some seats out here. If everybody's ready, please get your ears ready and your faces ready for Valencia Orange. <laughs> I want to go on live international TV and light myself on fire with gasoline and say this isn't for justice, and this isn't for peace, no I'm just doing this cause I've been bored for like a week and it was late one afternoon when I called you in my room and stabbed you in the neck with an ink fountain pen and as you lay there and writhe you start to sputter and die I realize that every movie that I've seen has been a lie and I may never really do these things, but I can think them pretty hard. And if I ever try to kill you or myself, there's no reason to be alarmed. You see, I ran out of my medication. I've been trying to self-medicate. I started wanting to help myself. I just started it to fucking Things, 
But I can think them pretty hard. And if I ever try to kill you or myself, there's no reason to be alarmed. I ran out of my medication. I've been trying to self-medicate. I started wanting to help myself. I just started it to fuck Stage, talking about these guys like, oh, who knew, right? You know, just like, so I hang out with these dudes every Friday, and who knew the kind of talent? And that's really what this the, this neighborhood is. It's just you never know. I mean, the person to be like be pouring your beer, or, you know, making you a pizza, or, or washing your dishes could be a talented person. I mean, like Leon Bridges, everybody's like from dishes to downtown Detroit, you know, like whatever. From dishes to Motown. Well, I forget what his claim to fame is, but he's, it's just a beautiful example of the talent, a talent-rich neighborhood that we live in here. And, you know, sometimes code enforcement comes and, and kind of, you know, fucks with your shit. And you're like, hey, man, you know, I'm just trying to live. But anyway, that happens. And, um, you know, the, that's what makes this neighborhood fun and diverse. It's just a little bit of, of everybody here, and everybody gets to have a say. And, you know, sometimes... You know, your, your vehicle's wider than seven feet. And I'm like, I can tell there's probably 1,800 dualies in this neighborhood that are wider than, eight, than seven feet. So we'll talk about that later uh, at another episode of Happy Hour. I'm oh, sorry, that was a little personal. <clears throat> uh, during the break, I went and kind of meditated on some things and, uh, you know, just kind of got out of the comedic mindset. But now I'm back, and you're back too. Welcome to the Journey Life Happy Hour. Thank you. Uh, anyway. Next week, we've got a great one. Um, I, I wish I could tell you who's going to be here. Do you know Chandler? No? No. Nah. A lot of pressure. Skeleton, skeleton man. <laughs> what, what were you calling yourself earlier? Skeleton skele Kramer? Or? What? <laughs> what were we calling you? <laughs> check out the video today, guys. This guy killed it with the effects. That was really neat. you got to check out our video on uh, Dreamy Life on Instagram. <laughs> Dreamy Life Records on Instagram. Do you guys like to... Um, you know, do you guys like to, you know, visit the astral plane ever? You know, do transcendental meditation? Woo! Let me tell you. <laughs> That's where the party is at. It gets wild up there. Um, I think everybody should just close their eyes real quick. Okay. Are, is your, are your eyes closed? <laughs> Listen to the sound of my voice. You are a ship at sea. It's a small ship. It's a wooden boat with a mast. Oh, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh. 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 All of a sudden, the water opens up in a huge whirlpool. Whoosh. Fishes and whales are floating by you as you gently fall down into the vortex of water, 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 water. <laughs> Journey to the 10,000 leaves, leaves, leaves under the sea. Da, 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 da. Next time on 10,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Captain, we have a report of a giant octopus outside the window. We need to pull thrusters. On the next episode, tune in, tune in. Next Friday, Dreamy Life Happy Hour. We do this every Friday. My name's Pete Gillen. Um, you can always come and visit me at Avoca Coffee if you want the same kind of routine. It's different. Um, every day, every hour, every moment of my life. Normally I'm spilling something. 
It's amazing that I've risen to the general manager position there considering I've burned both of my bosses and a bunch of customers and myself. Oh, I wish I could just sit here and tell you all the fun stories of being a barista. Um, yeah, I'm sure Pete here's got a couple stories too. Uh, you know. So anyway, yeah, tomorrow night, Republic Street Bar, great show. Go see some of our friends play music and do what they love. Um, it's going to be a great one. Um, if you're in the area, if you're in the area, motocross, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Actually, do y'all know any other things we should plug? Anything else? You got anything, Pete? Uh, nothing immediate. Okay, anybody else want to say anything while we're here? Okay, well, this is Pete Gill, and signing out for another episode of Dream Life Happy Hour. Tune in next time to see if Rico gets with Sandra, or if Johnny <laughs> finds out that Melissa was cheating. Next time on Dream Life Happy Hour. Cheating? And next, we're back. Okay, if you call now, you can get a lifetime of enlightenment. All right, anyway, cheers. Thank you so much. Dream Life Happy Hour, signing out. Thank you for listening.